in the beginning of the creation, what was there? Beginning of your creation. Beginning of the creation of the wave. Chalo. Nothing. The ocean. According the to you, nothing. nothing. The ocean. The ocean of consciousness. We were all in that ocean of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? Ego came. Ego came. How did the ego come? We are already in the consciousness. We are in the ocean. How does the first wave arrive? Vibration. So with energy or just energy? No, geography. So the wave and current. 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 Ocean current. Like that, in the ocean of consciousness, vibration is inherent. Yeah? That vibration is equivalent to an ocean current. Yes? Not created by anybody. Ocean's nature. Like that, the nature of that ocean of consciousness is to come up with a vibration, an intermittent vibration. Veera holds on to that vibration and says, I. And the first wave arises. When you say I, I is a sankalpa. The sankalp says Rishti. What did he mean? From that sankalpa, the wave got created. <clears throat> this, this I that you said, this intention, yeah, that is the sankalpa. That I, I am separate from you. Automatically you comes up. Dvaitam is born from Advaita. So, during that vibration, like there are some, they do not, like, you know, like, uh, like they do not, do not get disturbed with that vibration also. You know, not all will. Not all will arise and say, I. Yeah. So that ocean of consciousness is such that some recognize I am the ocean, and even if there is a vibration, there is no separation. I does not come up. But in some one particular jiva, we call it, there is this vibration that happens. And then that says I. Yeah. There are many out there still waiting in that ocean of consciousness. You came out. <laughs> got it? Sankalp says Trishti. That's how you got created in the first place. <coughs> then what happened? I want to be this. Yeah? I want to be that. Yeah? Maybe you said, I want to be Brahma and became Brahma the creator. And you stayed there in Satlok only. Never knew. Maybe you came lower and started saying, oh, I want to be an eagle. I want to be an ant. <coughs> yeah? I want to be a fish. Wherever a desire arose, Srishti happened. You happened. That's how you came into form. <laughs> Only because of one, ego, ego and two, desire. desire. Understood? Sankalp says Srishti. So this is the meaning of I created my own. I created my own self. I am responsible. There is nobody else responsible. <laughs> and you went through many many cycles of evolution we've done so many processes for it yeah, you were a bird, an ant, a fish a grasshopper a crocodile, a lion, a tiger yeah, probably got killed by a human, last impression human what did you become? Human. first human bird yeah, and through that human bird Ah, money. Ah, car. Oh, beautiful woman. Oh, handsome guy. That's where first attachments started. And running, 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 running after those attachments. That lifetime was not sufficient to complete the attachments. You kick the bucket. Again, you have to come back. 
and then several lifetimes it takes for the mind to mature. You know of people around you who are still not mature enough for the spiritual path? Yeah. So, there are four types of people. One, who are only around the mandir, outside the mandir. They never even enter the mandir. They just look at the mandir. <laughs> but they are busy in, what are you busy nowadays? <laughs> Your smartphones. <laughs> Too busy. Yeah? I don't know whether she's on Twitter or Facebook or whatever it is. WhatsApp. Yeah? Friends. Yeah. That's where the first type of people are. They have some more lifetimes to come up with. Yeah. They are the people who believe I am the body. That's it. That is the truth for them. There are second type of people who believe there is more than that. I am the mind. When I'm doing these four types of people, homework for you to look where you land up in these four types. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, I am the mind. Where you start identifying with the mind. Now, there are many examples of identification with the mind. I'll give you one simple example mm -hmm. where I think, oh, she said this to me. She, he said that to me. Yes, I am always concerned with what he said to me. This is normal in you. Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If somebody says something to you, you know, you're, you're looking sick today. You're unhealthy. You don't mind it so much. Huh? That means you're not so much in the body. But if somebody says, you know what, you're a little cuckoo. What happens to you? <laughs> eh, how dare you? What are you more attached to? Mind. 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 Kya bola tha? For the body also said, you don't look so good. But you did not mind that. But what did you mind? The mind being sick. So you are more attached to the mind. Less attached to the body. Some people are the other way around. You say whatever to my mind. Don't say anything huh, to my hair. Shankhan, <laughs> Deepika. <laughs> yeah, I am not less. Yeah. So, both types you can figure out, both, both you understand. Third type of people who go beyond the body, go beyond the mind. They understand, I am the soul. But again, these are the so-called pundits who get lost in the philosophizing. Only philosophy, only talk about it, only intellectually I understand it. Yeah. These are the people who say, I believe in God, not no, I know God. Got it? Yeah. This is the third type of people. I am the soul. And the fourth type of people? Um, I am God. Where are you? You see, where are you? You don't have to answer me. It's homework for you. You to write down. Honestly, as it is. At least write down the question if you don't want to write down the answer right now. Could it be that you see a transition in yourself? That could, that could be a possibility. Huh? You see a transition in yourself. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you could be somewhere in the middle. A little percentage of this still remaining, but here I have graduated. It's like, you know, one foot is down and the next foot is climbing up on the next step. Both the feet have not come up yet. But you can see you are walking. Good. Make that effort to bring that second step also up. Maybe when the ego will present in the third type of people when they say I am. Ego is there all the way. All the way. All the yeah. Way. Okay. Only when finally you reach I am God, that is the moment where your ego dissolves. But people who say, you know what, I am God. <laughs> Where are they stuck? On the third type of people. Really, they are not there. There is no I only. Prem gali, ati sakri, tame dona samai. The road 
of love or the path of love is too narrow. <coughs> there is no space for two. They cannot be I and God. I has to drop. I has to drop. It is you only. So recognize this. When there is you only, then you have reached the last stage. Yeah? And this Chetana is in all of us. It is like electricity. And when it gets awakened, when you recognize I and God and this creation are not different, then only is your Chetana awakened. Till that time it is asleep, unconscious, lost in this world of Maya. Yeah. So what do we keep doing? Yes, Satatam Yoga. Yeah. All the time, continuous effort, continuous effort to be conscious. A become pain of yogi. That is the way. That is the only way. Again and again. Yes? Chalo, you did your best, but in this lifetime you did not manage. What will happen? And death? Uh -huh. But where will you go immediately after that? Forget the next life. You will become a pitra. Pitra loka. Remember the lokas? It's like we did in the morning. Yes. Which loka are you in? Bhu loka. loka. When you die, you move on to Bhuvar loka. loka. And you become the Pitra. Bhuvar Loka is also equal to Pitra Loka. Then you take on a Pitra Yoni. Are you understanding the word Yoni? This body is a Yoni. Right now, you have taken on a material Bhuta Yoni. Yeah, this is called Bhuta Yoni. And Bhut does not mean ghost. This is not Hindi we are talking about. This is Sanskrit. So right now, you are a Bhut, but not a ghost. Yeah. From here, when this body drops, you go to higher units of life. We've done in Upanishads. Yeah. Right now, you are at eight units. You go to nine units of life and you come to Pitrayoni. Yes. Some people who have too many attachments, maybe around the first type of people or the second type of people, what happens to them? They cannot become Pitras very easily because of lots of attachments in this world. So what is the meaning of Preta Yoni? A mixture of Yoni. You are stuck between the Bhu Loka and the Bhuvar Loka. You are not ready to move on because of your attachments back here, but here the body has left you. Yeah? So, neither can you be go here, neither can you go there. You are stuck in the middle. So, what are you called? Preta. Preta Yoni. Yeah? So, we say Preta Atma. Yeah? But then you stop imagining now ghosts are coming <laughs> Some hand is coming around the... There's a movie, Ghost, a ghost hmm. that he stays for a while. Hmm. Yoni is the body? Yes, Yoni is the body that you take. Yeah? Whatever that body is called in that loka is Yoni. Clear? Yeah? So now, when somebody dies and when the attachments of that person are too strong and you know it, what do they do? What did you say? Pindadan. Yeah. So that you move on from the Preta Yoni to Pitra Yoni. Just with the Pindadan. Is there a period, right? During which you are in this? Yes. So, um, in some other talk somewhere, Guruji has said that for six months, we keep that door of that room closed. If you experience that, that 
uh, soul has not moved on. You please keep his belongings and everything that you may keep it closed. Don't visit it. Yeah. So it's just a way of letting him be able to come to terms with time up. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. It takes time. But to everybody normally at death, you take time to understand. Especially if you are not on the spiritual path and you have not understood the process of death. Aren't you going to be stunned? Yes. What's happened? Yeah. Especially people who suddenly die and, you know, were not diseased or anything. Yeah. They are just not ready to accept. Huh? Absolutely. Accident. They are not ready to accept only. They will still try to go back home, sit on the dining table and try to pick up something and eat. But not be able to even pick up. They try to hug their beloved ones. But it's not possible. Because there is no body to do it. So that acceptance is not there. Yeah, This acceptance takes three days. Three human days. Okay, Their time zone changes the moment you die. Mm -hmm. It's different on the other side. Yeah, so we are not talking in their time. In human time, three days. That is why you do the third day. Something you do, whatever yep. it is called. Yeah, yeah first. Three days. Three days we do the yeah, third, the third day. Whatever. Yeah. And everybody has different different terms. Yeah. Even the Treta is done puja as Treta Narayan. We we do Shiva Stapan. Yes. Three called by the Putra's parents. Yes. And their, their parents. Yes. So three three from the Vishnu is all like that. They are Treta Narayans. Yes. And then they get to the third rock. Yeah. It's like making a path for them to move on. Yes. So the other people are also kept along with them. Yes. So I mean, get close and they are local. Yes, absolutely. Why? The youngsters, they are there. Why? So because they when you die, your pitras come to take you. Yes, yes. They come. Wish. Yeah. Your ancestors are your pitras. Yeah? Your grandparents or great grandparents, they are your pitras. They come to take you. Yeah? But if you are so attached to the physical world, you are not ready to move on. That's why the Pindadam is done and the way he described, we keep all the ancestors like that and we do that puja. It's a way, it's a path that move on. Yeah? Time up. So, next, from death, next life does not happen immediately. Mm. Yeah, so, don't expect, oh, you're here, you die, here, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Instant noodle ka zamana nahi. It depends on your karma. Yeah? If you have good karma, for some time, there is a period of rest. When you move on to the other side, in Pitra Lok, there will be a period where you will just rest. Yeah? If you are too attached to something, your last impression, yeah, and it is somebody who has still not taken birth, you will wait for that soul to take birth and then you will follow. <laughs> it's very complicated. And you've made it complicated for yourself. And wait, there's more. <laughs> if that person is not taking birth. Yeah? You will make things happen in this Bhut Lok so that he takes birth and then you come. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you push the other soul and try to get into the body of the mother. You know, and there are two souls inside and both trying to fight for that body. It's very complicated. So what are they doing? No. no. Souls also Two fight. souls can fight. Oh, wow. Two souls keep fighting for that body. And one wins. And one wins. The other has to be. Competition there also. Competition there. <laughs> that is why it's essential not to waste what we have. Yes. I don't know where you land up. No? Why waste this lifetime? A be enlightened on at this lifetime. You write a will on Gurudev's account. 
<laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> Again, ego and desire. Drop, 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 drop. The only way out is no mind. Please stop looking for shortcuts. It's not happening. Guruji also said, like, someone asked a question like this. Guruji, I always want to be with you. Will you be there? He said, yeah, I'll come, but I'll take some long time to come. But in between, you have to come many lifetimes. You never know. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. I just give you two scenarios. It can get really dirty and mean. <laughs> It depends totally on what kind of a life you led as a Bhuta Yoni and you move like that only into the Pitra Yoni. So now when I'm in the Pitra Yoni, I have all these impressions. Yeah? Solid impressions that I have collected. Yes? Yeah? So Pitra Yoni is the next Yoni that you move on to. Now, if you have very strong impressions, yeah, accordingly you can take a higher uni going up or you can come back. Yeah? So, if you die discontent, we already discussed. Mm -hmm. You take a free free uni and you cannot move on easily. We do ping the dharma. If you have a lot of sanskaras or Karma impressions of music yeah, and attached to art. The yoni that you take is Gandharva yoni. Yes? What is the Gandharva yoni? Can I pick up the guitar and start? Can I pick up the guitar and start playing the music? No. You need a body for that, right? <laughs> Awareness, awareness here. Gandharva Yoni is not back into the Bhuloka. Yeah? So it is the next Yoni after Pitra Yoni. Yeah? Gandharva. Devaloka. Yeah, this is all Devaloka. Gandharva, Finaras, whatever we will discuss after this are all in Devaloka. Yeah? Or Swarga Loka. So Gandharva Yoni, these souls have that thirst for art or the thirst for the fame through art. Not necessarily just the art. Yeah? Thirst for the fame, name through art. So what do they do now? They can work in an artist. Huh? They can work in an artist. Take birth nahi hua hai, abhi tak nahi. Can they influence anyone? Ah, Are you getting it? If Veera is very much into music but still doesn't have the talent. Gandharva can choose. Fantastic candidate. Let me make him the best in this. Yeah? And all the talent is, which is coming through him, is coming from the Gandharva. So, Gandharvas, to get through their ragas of that talent or through they that. They take work and no, we no taking words. They are blessing him with the talent. Oh, gifting. Gifts. Yes. Remember Guruji said, all your talents, none of them are yours. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember this? None of them are yours. What did he mean? <clears throat> You've been gifted. You have been gifted. And Gandharvas are working to gift you. So Gandharvas bless you with artistic abilities and the fame that comes to a great artist, whatever, Shah Rukh Khan, Pika, yeah. What else do they bring along? Misery. Sadness. Have you seen that? Sadness? Yeah. There's a lot of Dukkha. Oh, that's the way Gandharva's work. They, they give pleasure to others. Opposite values are... They come together. If they bring name and fame for art, yeah, they also bring the opposite value of sadness. If they want, can they take birth? No, no, because they cannot take the birth, but the raga is so strong, so they work through a human. So, so that's my, how. My desire to become an artist is also because of. Yes. 
you will not be able to stop him. Now see, the Gandharva chooses the perfect candidate, na? There will be 40 people in the guitar class, but for him, he needs to get his raga through. But He'll I'm... choose from these 40 hours. Yeah. He will do anything. <laughs> this is right. my weakling. But we can try. It doesn't matter. Gandharva brings huge amounts of name fame. Many people must have gone to the same school that yeah. Shah Rukh Khan went. Yeah. How many became Shah Rukh Khan? That is why I'm asking. So what make other people go? Oh, that could be their own desire. Of course, everybody goes because of their own desire. Gandharva finds the right candidate desire so much that he will do anything to achieve it. Yeah. Gandharva acts as a catapult. Uh -huh. yeah. Shoot him up. So yeah. the success. They uh, already uh, transcended the work. Cycle? No, 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 no transition has but happened. If you so transition, then right. so you wouldn't have the Raga Dvesha, right? Right. So they're not coming in the body. But because they, they don't, coming. their karma to come back is way out. The time on the other side is different. Yeah. yeah. yeah? In human years, it could be 200 years. Right. But now that Gandharva is like so tabla to get his raga out. Fame, 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 name, fame. I want to be Shah Rukh Khan. Oh my God, that Shah Rukh Khan is competing. I want to be Ranbir Kapoor. Yeah. So how do I come? Yeah. I cannot take birth. Yeah. It's not happening. That feverishness that you have, you are carrying on to the Gandharva you are. But you know, in the way they say that like some of your merits pass on to your ancestors while you're meditating. Maybe some of your fame also passes on to satiate the the Gandharva's desires Possibly. through you. Yeah. Possibly. Then why the dissatisfaction or sadness? I mean opposite values. They will bring two two values to you. The gift always comes with a tax. Have you noticed in life Sukha always comes with Dukha. Sukha cannot come alone. This creation is made in pairs. It started the talk with this. Remember? Yeah. Everything comes in two. So it's not possible only that you will just get the fame. The sadness is the tail behind. Right? Not everybody can handle fame name, no? Yeah. Especially it is, if it's coming because of Gandharva. It brings the dukkha along. Uh, he's like one, one last. I don't want to do that. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, like when you say like Gandhar was the big one, whoever it is. So let's take example of Shahrukh Khan. So because of Gandhar Bhai, Shahrukh Khan has attained so such his talent that because of that artistic talent, if he misuse that, so will the karma add to no, that's Shah Rukh Khan takes. <laughs> not Gandharva. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Finally, you come to that. Now you realize you're a puppet. I've been saying this since yesterday. <laughs> Kaika doership, Kaika I, I, I. You don't exist only. Okay. <laughs> drop this eye drop everything is happening yeah. yeah it is so true I mean if you look at any of the artists anyone we pick up it's like that only exactly. everyone is like and the same thing they say all of them say the same thing I don't know what got me to here yeah. have you noticed yeah. that in yes. some or the other language they say this I have no idea how I got here I did nothing to get to this main thing. Yeah. Even Amitabh Bachchan says this. Have you heard this? Yeah. Even he says this. I have no idea how I got here. It is all God's grace. But there are some artists, right? So who are divine, let's say, Emerson Lakshmi or something. So, how they, I don't 
anymore. I don't know about their dissatisfaction channel, but it seems like they're in line with the What is that? I don't know which girl that was. Case by case, individual case, no matter what. Here's something like if uh, if Mira by sang songs of. Ah, oh, but she didn't become a big rock star nice. after the Right, because she sang songs of the Lord. Yeah. 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 Maybe so, no, there was no thirst for fame or yeah. name in Mira. Right. That is different. Right. Right. So yeah. the fame with the, uh, I mean, only for the people who have thirst for name and fame, they right. bring about their acting. Right. But they the, choose the perfect candidate. Right. Perfect candidate. So but you if you do it with love for music and art. Yeah. Just for the love of it. Yeah. If you do it with devotion for God, that's oh. the only way of it. Now you can't say, okay, no, now I'm going to do God in every song, <laughs> but I want name fame. <laughs> God is smarter than that. <laughs> and name action may follow, it's, but may it's not an intention. For huh. I don't want that. I am singing because I have the case all over here. Case all over here. <laughs> Last question. Oh, you, this, is, this is your first time asking. Ganda, <laughs> Yoni, clear? So yes. Question on Yoni. So you started with said Yoni is the body. So why do we keep saying Yoni and then why the other than Yoni? What's the body? These are Yonis, as in you take on that Yoni in that yoga. It's what? not physical harmas ka Yoni. The Yoni, that, the formless Yoni in that. Relevant to that. Yeah, relevant to that. Got it? Mm -hmm. That is why it's called Yoni. Yeah. It doesn't stop here. Yeah. It was just the beginning. The next Yoni is of Yaksha. What do Yakshas bring? Money. Lots of money. Oh, God. Yeah. And what else do they bring? What is the opposite value? Misery from progeny. Misery from progeny. Dukkha of children. You guys are sleeping when Guruji was talking about this? Yes. Guruji spoke all these things, guys. Yeah. And then I said it in front and said it. I didn't talk about it. I didn't talk about it. I didn't talk about it. Kids or grandkids or descendants. The Gambani. Rich. The rich people. Yeah, they always experience dukkha from progeny. Yeah? That is the way Yaksha works his way. Dukkha from progeny doesn't mean just um, the progeny is bad. It also means no progeny possibility. Oh. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Very rich people not having kids despite thirsting for it, yeah. wanting it. That dukkha is there in their mind. Yeah, not out of choice. Out of choice, not having progeny is different. These people want, want, thirsting, no trying every science to make it happen, and it's not happening. The choice also might be effect of it. The effect of yakshas. That choice is there. It's just there's dukkha because of either no progeny or miserable because of not good children. That is what Yaksha is doing. Mm -hmm. Next is the Kinnara Yoni. Kinnara is they bring all that power to you. And with power what comes? A lot of pain comes because of Politics. No, it is because of what people will say. They have that pain in that. Yeah, that twisty, that contentment is lacking in them. Yeah. So, see this around you. When one value is there, the opposite value is very apparent. Yeah, and you move like this through the different unis. If your attachment is too much to mon money, where will you land up? Yaksha. Yaksha yoni. Yeah, if your attachment is too much to power and politics, Kinnara yoni. Are you getting it? 
Yeah. It totally depends on your attachment level. These are all in Deva Loka. So, um, in the previous um, chapters, Gurudev did that number, 330 million Devas yeah, in Deva Loka. And then he was joking that the number could have gone higher. <laughs> we are not counting anymore. <laughs> So these are the devas and these are the types of devas that Guruji introduced us to. There are some more that Guruji didn't introduce us to, but it's okay. Yeah. And there are other types also, because there's not just money and power. Apsaras, too, too attached to beauty. And you're too attached to beauty. So that's where you will end up. You bless with beauty. Yeah. So you gift. When you are in the Apsara Yoni, you land up gifting beauty. Yeah. And they also bring about Dukkha. Why Dukkha? Have you seen very beautiful plastic flowers? They look so beautiful, almost real. You go to touch them, they are unreal. These beauties are unreal. As in the ego is very high. You've seen very, very beautiful women, very, very beautiful men. You've seen where the ego is also. And they suffer because of that ego. You cannot come back as a human immediately because of your karma bag. You have to go through that much of whatever time. And that time is very long, maybe in human years, because time on the other side is different. Yeah? So in Devaloka, what is the time? Our six months is one day time there, and our six months is one night, one night, night time there. Are you seeing? So it takes such a long time. It takes hundreds of years for you to come back, take a rebirth as a human. That is why it is said, don't miss this opportunity for enlightenment. Because you cannot get enlightened in these other units. It's not possible. Why? Because the impression of that sukha, that raga, that dukkha that you went through and held on to, all that you are holding on to, and you are stuck in that uni. There is no way for the debit and credit to happen now. The debit credit of your account can only happen in the human life. Got it? Yeah. yeah. That is why do not waste a human birth. This is your only chance to get enlightened. You never know even after taking thousand years, you come back, but you come back as a cockroach. <laughs> yeah. No chance of enlightenment. So don't waste this human birth. I understand family is important. I understand money. I understand career is important. But it has its place. Move your attachments away from these material things and change the direction to the self. Can you do that for your own self? Yes. Do you want to be stuck in any of those yonis? No. Though it seems like fun. <laughs> it's pain. It's a lot of pain. You shouldn't be jealous of the people. You can't. You can't. Actually, if even if you are really a yaksha, yeah, you are blessing somebody else with the money, but you cannot enjoy the money. Are you seeing that? There is no sukha there. You cannot spend that money. Even if you are blessing somebody with the art and the music, you can't touch that guitar and pick it up. You cannot play. You do not get the fame. That other person gets it. It's a very poor state of affairs, though it seemed very you know, yummy to begin with. Basically, you don't ensure life. That's what you're saying. Yes. Sometimes. You thirst more. more. The thirst increases. Because you're so stuck to that Raga Dvesha. Now, where did they pick up this Raga Dvesha? When they were in the Bhutayoti, in the human. Are you getting it? 
That is why the emphasis is so much on dropping the raga and dvesha and getting out of this cycle of birth and death. Now, this birth, this lifetime. So what you are saying is they have also raga and dvesha. Yeah. Yes, obviously, that's why they are blessing you with it, no? <laughs> because they have the raga for money. They could not satisfy it. They can't take a human birth and come back. They catch Suresh. He will do anything for money. He's so rich. But they cannot experience the sukha of that money. Then why do they do that? Because that, you know, that thirst, it's, it's like a lust. It's coming out. It's overflowing. It's not even controllable. It's a very sad state of affairs. And to get a feeling of love because they don't feel the love. Yeah, they cannot feel love. They cannot experience joy. There is no joy there. There is no love there. So how much ever money the yaksha gives you, it cannot experience the joy. It's thirsting. It thinks by giving you the money, it will get it. But doesn't the joy doesn't happen. The thirst increases. Yeah, it's a very dry life out there. <laughs> However, those rosy Deva Loka looks to you, it's not. Yeah? So stop, drop this desire also. If you have this little desire that I want to become a Deva. <laughs> 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 Aim for the highest. Aim karna hai ya to highest. Highest ki kya hai? Brahman. Brahman consciousness. I want to unite with the Brahman. The same as Swarga Loka. Devaloka and Svargaloka is the same. Now, after this, Gurudev also told you about Vasus and Siddhas. Yeah? Vasus are the higher gods. Yeah? That also there is no need to want to go to. Is that also Devaloka? No. That is also the Devaloka. Vasus are in Devaloka. Higher than them are Siddhas, the enlightened ones. That's where you aim. Siddhas. Yeah. Siddhas are in Mahardoka, higher than Mahardoka. But they don't necessarily come. They can. Huh. Siddhas, who are Siddhas? who during their human lifetime really do a lot of tap, really control this mind, drop this unconscious dreamlike state and are always established in the no mind. Yeah? While living, they get enlightened or they get liberated. Yes, like Lord Buddha. Then they have to live the rest of their life, whatever it was for this particular yogi, but then, after that death, they don't have to come back like us. We are bound to come back. Whether it is 200 years or 1000 years, we are bound to come back. They are not bound. Now they can choose to come back as a guru or you know, even an enlightened neighbor to help everyone. Jeevan Muktas, can they come back? Jeevan Muktas, when they become liberated during Life or living, they are called Jeevan Muktas. <clears throat> it's just the term given to somebody who gets liberated by living. Yeah. Janak, Jeevan Mukta. Mm -hmm. Raja Janak. Okay. Yeah. So, what are you going to aim for? Yakshas. No! no. no. <laughs> Come on, Gandharvas. <laughs> This very lifetime I have to get enlightened. Even if this thirst I can invoke in you know, my job is done. Mehnat Sakar of this weekend. Even in one person, this thirst starts, no? But that's where I have to go. That's the final abode, guys. But stop running. Running is only in the material world it gets you success, name, fame, money. In this inner world, 
Running doesn't work. What works? Stop it. That is why stop meditation. <laughs> but the, the ultimate is Brahman consciousness. But why I, again, is it a step down to that? Or no, you I cannot mean? go to the Brahman consciousness without going through the Siddha and this. There are se seven levels of enlightenment. The door is through being, becoming a Siddha. Got it? There is no other way. Again, shortcut. Yeah, har cheez mein shortcut chahiye. Quickly. Bargaining. Acha, bargaining to the top. Ye Indians mein bahut zada hota hai. Mashila. 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 Mashila means. Sifarish. Sifarish in Hindi. English mein word bata. Recommendation. Yeah. Through influence, going, going higher through influence, he's trying to go to some way the shortcut. How do we get to the top? <laughs> That's what uh, lots of people mistake no? that, oh, Guruji will bless me. That will be my shortcut. No, no, no. I've seen this. That feverishness that I've developed, that I drop. With spirituality, it means to stop. Let me learn to stop. Yeah. All the unis are clear? Whatever Guru Dev spoke about. <coughs> Next level. Oh Mahalok, I showed you the Rishis, I showed you the sons of Brahma, I showed you Mano. Yeah, to reach that level, you have to do a lot of sad, not to even understand it. Right now it will just be words. Yeah, though there are just four lokas, but there are seven steps to enlightenment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you go through different lokas and maybe in the next Mahar Loka you will have a couple of steps and then a couple and then a couple and then the last step. Got it? But wait, get to the Siddha Loka first. <laughs> yeah, get to the Siddha stage first. So for that, what do we have to practice? Yeah. Stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So let's practice one last one. Yeah. Oh, this is special. So what do you do now? You will just walk around. Yeah. When I start the bell, not now. Look down 30 degrees. You're not looking at anybody specifically. Look down and walk. When you are walking, first listen. Be completely aware of every single step you take. Your leg goes up, you observe the right leg going up, yeah, going down, the left leg coming up, the left leg going down. Same time you observe breath going in, breath going out, breath going in, breath going out. Same time you are observing your hands if they are moving. Yes, same time you will not bump into another person. So sharp your awareness has to be in each direction. Got it? Yeah. And you have to observe your mind and refrain from slipping into a dream. Got it? All set? Yes. Look down 30 degrees. Only your feet you should be able to see. As they go.
Completely stand still. Observe the change. is equal on both the feet. Observe the breath. Is the mind slipping again? start walking faster. Observe the change. Aware of every single change in breath, in the mind, in the body. Keeping your eyes closed, sit down. Thank you. 
feet. Slowly become aware of your body, your surroundings. Move your shoulders and roll your neck. And when you feel complete, very slowly and gradually take it into open your eyes. How was it? How was the mind now? Good. Is there any dream like state? Hope so. Is it talking? So Homework number, I don't know, four, three, four. Tonight again, we will be conscious of the mind for one minute. One minute, two minutes walking. Yeah. Then again, after walking, you stop. Stop for 30 seconds. Again, one minute, two minutes walking. In your own room, you do it. You don't have to do it in your house. Again, stop. Yeah. And then there, only sit down, a few ohms. Just before going to bed, do this few ohms and be in silence for a moment. And then go to bed. Last thing in the night. Yes, easy? Okay. Yeah, everybody?